In this video I'll explain how to use the event booking component for Joomla. So first uh, log in to your administrator area of your website. Once you have logged in go to components and event booking. Now this tutorial assumes that, that it has already been installed for you and uh, go to configuration. In the configuration area there are a number of uh, options that are available to you and each one has a brief explanation next to it. For example these options have to do with which email address is used to send out uh, notifications to those who register and also which email address should receive notices of registrations for events on this website. The, the name is used to, to, to label the emails that are sent out. So that could be customer service at your office, for example. Now, the main feature I want to show you is uh, actually in a different area. But feel free to scroll through and see, look at the options and uh, make changes as you feel we right. Now we are back to Event Booking's main screen and from the menu as well we can uh, look at emails and messages. Here emails are defined for people registering as well as notifications to admin users so uh, it pays to, to go through and make changes to these emails to, to suit your branding. So for example where it says event management team that should be replaced by the name of your business. And it explains on the side the available tags that can be used in the email which will be replaced with the information from the registration. Please note that um, for the offline payment option, if you're using that, where people place a deposit straight into your bank account, it's important that uh, your bank details are listed here where there's some sample details already in place. So remove the sample details and replace with your, your bank details. Group emails are only used when you allow group registrations for events. Now, having uh, edited these emails, save and close. And now we're going to look at how to set up events. We first need to make sure that we have uh, categories available for the events. In this case I have created a category called Workshops and by clicking New you can create new categories and you can create subcategories of the main categories. We also need to do one more thing before we create the event and that is go to Locations. Now Locations is used as a central directory of um, locations where you're having your events. So it could be uh, a campsite in Melbourne, it could be a, a seminar hall uh, in Sydney. And for each one of those you need to go in here and create uh, a location. This will enable the event to show a Google map of the location. So if we click New You can here fill in the details. Philip Island. And it comes up with uh, ideas. Philip Island, Victoria, Australia. Usually you include a specific address. But we can see on the map it has come up OK and we can save and close. 
now we are ready to create our event go to events click on new enter a title test event the category workshops you can include uh, an image to be used as a, a thumbnail image for the event you can choose the location if you have already created a location select it here start date you can enter an end date if you want price capacity if you leave this blank it will think it is unlimited registration type individual or only group or individual and groups cutoff date for registration maximum number of registrants in a group short description and a complete description now you can uh, create an automatic reminder here you can also set up the event to automatically recur every uh, X number of days or weeks uh, you can go and create an early bird discount you can also define what questions are asked of those who register as individuals and or groups and under advanced settings you can customize the payment options you can also change the payment options for all events uh, and I'll show that to you now so let's say we have created this event and we are happy with it once you save it go to the website have a look and make sure it looks okay and let's have a look at the payment plugins Here's PayPal and offline payment. Click on any one of them to change the settings. Note that those who have a red dot next to them are disabled. We're not using them. And the one with a, a tick is currently being used. Click on it to change the settings. Uh, actually, for for this option, the uh, the settings have to be changed under the email messages that I showed you earlier. Uh, the only setting you can change here is whether or not it is available to the public and the name of this payment option. You might want to call it direct bank deposit instead perhaps. So uh, that is it um, and uh, I hope you find this a useful component to manage your events.